It's Gwen, and tis the season to be pop punk. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite pop punk Christmas songs. I got this idea because I've lately been listening to a pop punk Christmas playlist on Spotify, and I have been obsessed with listening to it. I've listened to a bunch of old pop punk Christmas songs that I've kind of always known and always heard throughout my childhood, and I've also discovered some new ones I've never heard before that I have fallen in love with. So today, I'm going to be sharing my favorites with you. So let's get started. It's Christmas time again It's time to be nice to the people you can't stand All year I'm growing tired of all this Christmas cheer My first favorite is I Won't Be Home for Christmas by Blink-182 This is one that I'm pretty sure everybody in the pop punk scene knows It's all about Mark as he hates Christmas and he just talks about hating everybody who loves Christmas, they all annoy him, and basically the story is that he ends up snapping and going to jail because of this. It's a very Blink-182 song, like you can tell it's them because of the style of the music and what it's about and the way Mark sings and, and you can really recognize his voice. The instrumentation in this song is also amazing, it's just, it's such a bop, like the, the guitars and the drums and the beat just makes you want to dance. Whenever the song comes on, I always just dance and yell out all the lyrics because it's so much fun. Obviously, you know, he's annoyed at the people who like Christmas, and you can tell that by some of the lyrics when he says, It's Christmas time again. It's time to be nice to the people you can't stand all year. I'm growing tired of all this Christmas cheer. You people scare me. Please stay away from my home. If you don't want to keep me down, just leave the presents and then leave me alone. I mean, are those Blink-182 lyrics or what? That's classic Blink, I feel like. This is one of those songs that I've always listened to, even when I was really young, because it's one of my dad's favorites, and it's just always been a Christmas bop. Don't come home for Christmas You're the last thing I wanna see Underneath the tree Next we have You'll Shoot Your Eye Out by Fall Out Boy. I really love that instead of saying Yule, like you, apostrophe L L. They have Yule, like a Yule log. I think that's super creative. This was on the Believers Never Die album with the greatest hits, and it's kind of just like a bonus Christmas track. And this is a great acoustic song that's pretty much just Patrick and his guitar. And he's talking about basically like a girlfriend that he had, I guess, and he's hating on her and hoping that all this bad stuff happens to her throughout the holidays. Some of the lyrics are, Don't come home for Christmas. You're the last thing I want to see under the tree. Merry Christmas. I could care less. It's about him just kind of not really hating on Christmas specifically, but hating on the holidays with her. Like he probably spent the holidays with her a few Christmases ago or something, and now the time has come when he's reminiscing on this relationship and he's just wishing the worst on her. It's a very funny song and it also just puts you in like a good mood and it's just silly and fun. This is another one that I, my family just knows, like it's just always played in our household, which is so hilarious to me. So I wrote you a song, hope you sing alone and it goes Merry Christmas, kiss my ass. Next we have Merry Christmas, Kiss My Ass by All Time Low. This one is so funny and it's very All Time Low, it's just kind of classic All Time Low, it's just the sound, you can really tell it's them. This is the same sort of thing, this one is about a relationship and Alex is, yeah, just going through how the holidays remind him of this relationship he had. He talks about hating mistletoe because it reminds me of the first time he and his girlfriend kissed. It's just kind of how the Christmas season reminds him of all these great things that happened with this girl that just ended up breaking his heart. The best part about this song is the end when you hear a voice, a guy's voice say, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, kiss my ass. Is my ass. It's like the funniest part of the whole song, at least to me. And I did not know that this part of the end was from a famous movie until a few days ago. Turns out it's from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, and it's the dad saying those lines. And it's super funny, it's from that famous movie. And I always figured it'd be a famous line, I just never knew what it was from. But now that I know that, it's even funnier to me. It's Christmas Eve and I've only wrapped two fucking presents Christmas Eve and I've only wrapped two fucking presents And I hate, hate, hate your guts I hate, hate, hate your guts And I'll never talk to you again Next we have the iconic Happy Holidays You Bastard This song I can't even believe I've seen this song live Like it is crazy This is one of the most vulgar Blink songs ever <laughs> 
It is crazy. It's by Blink-182 and just wow. I mean, it's this this is classic Blink. I mean, the vulgarity in this song is crazy and he's talking about Christmas and he's talking about Labor Day and he's just swearing a ton in both and yeah, it's a pretty intense song. So it's only about 45 seconds and it's a lot to take in. I suggest listening to it if you haven't already and yeah, it's it's quite a song. I want an alien for Christmas. Bring me an alien this year. I want a little green guy about three feet high with 17 eyes who knows how to fly. Next we have I Want an Alien for Christmas by Fountains of Wayne. This is another one that my family has always played throughout the holidays. I think this is such a fun song. And it's about this guy who instead of wanting, you know, like a bike or typical toys, he wants an alien for Christmas. It's kind of like a spoof off of I want a hippopotamus for Christmas, but it's an alien. In the song, he describes the alien and like what they'll do together, and some lyrics are, I want a little green guy about three feet high with 17 eyes who knows how to fly. Love that lyric. He also says, I'll always keep him company, we'll never be alone, and we can hang around the house all day and watch the Twilight Zone. So I think it's like just such a funny and really cute song, and it has a great beat as well. It's a bop. He said I met her up in Delaware in 1937 She was wearing red lipstick to match her pretty dress December 24th at a quarter to eleven When I finally came to courage to ask her to dance Next we have his favorite Christmas story by Capital Lights this is one of the ones that I just heard for the first time this year because of this pop punk Christmas playlist I've been listening to. And it's one of the ones where it's like, how have I never heard this before? It is such a cool and heartwarming and just like adorable song. This song, it tells a story of, you know, this guy who's traveling and the story that he always told. And it ends up having, if you listen to lyrics, you'll realize it has a twist ending at the end that just makes you go like, oh my gosh, it all makes sense. Like the story's gone, just been put together and it's like, it's crazy. And I just love this song. It's so cute, very heartwarming. I love the story it tells. And I really encourage you to listen to it because not only does it have a great beat, but the story, listen to the lyrics. And by the end, you'll be like, Whoa, what just happened? It's just, it's a really adorable song. Next we have The 12 Days of Christmas by Reliant K. This one's nice because it is the original lyrics that everyone's used to, but it's just, you know, it's pop punk. So it's got a really fun beat, and I like though that they did keep with the original lyrics, but they added a little bit of extra stuff in it too. Like after a few of the verses, they say, what's a partridge and what's a pear tree? Well, I don't know, so please don't ask me, but I can bet those are terrible gifts to give. And when I heard this for the first time this year, I was laughing when I heard that line. I think it's just really funny and cute that they added it in. And it's nice that it's pretty original, but they added just a few little funny pop punk things. And I really like it. I think it's a good song. Next we have Merry Christmas, I Don't Want to Fight Tonight. I feel like this is kind of like, not necessarily iconic, but just like people know about this one, at least I hope. This is another one that I've always listened to even when I was really young in my family. It's another bop that we just always get down to. It's a great song. And I like it because, you know, it is pop punk it's about like not getting along with family and stuff, but it has a good message. It's like, I don't want to fight. I just want to enjoy Christmas. And you know, it has a great beat, by the way, and it will make you dance. And it's really just about this guy who wants to, like I said, enjoy Christmas and not argue. And you know, there's a lyric that says, Christmas ain't the time for breaking each other's hearts. So it's, it's pop punk, but it's not that kind of like emo depressing pop punk that I feel like you associate with pop punk Christmas songs. It's, it has a positive message, and it's kind of like, you know what, even if we have our issues, we're family, let's just try to enjoy the holidays. And I really like that message. Next we have, this one is, I think, pretty iconic, All I Want For Christmas Is You by My Chemical Romance. Now, I heard this song for the first time last year, and 
I liked it. And then I listened to it this year and I realized, not gonna lie, I'm sorry, but Gerard sounds horrible in this song. I hope I don't get any hate for saying this, but he actually sounds like he can't sing in this song. And obviously that's not true. I'm a huge MCR fan. Like I love his voice, but I don't know what happened because in this song, it really does not sound like he can sing. I don't, I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but it's, it's crazy. It kind of has that more like punk vibe because he sounds that way. So I would still listen to this song and I still jam to it and I don't really mind it, but I, I just kind of realized that this year, like he does not sound good. But either way, the guitar is great on this song. It has, it does have a real MCR vibe with the instrumentation and it's still a great jam and I really like it still. Wish I'd known that less is more But I was passed out on the floor and that's the last thing I remember It's been a long, lonely December Next we have one of my favorites, December by Neck Deep. Oh, this song is so cute. It's just a simple acoustic song with Ben singing. And wow, I'm a big Neck Deep fan, and I know this is a big fan favorite. Some people like the um, kind of like original better, not the acoustic version. I 100% love the acoustic version. It is one of my favorite songs on Life's Not Out to Get You. And I just, I really like listening to it this time of year. It's a very depressing song. It is a sad love song, you know, about Ben having to say goodbye to this girl and, you know, looking out the window, wishing she was there. And it's really sad, but it has a nice tune, and the melody is really, really nice. You'll find yourself singing along to the chorus and learning it really easily. And I, I really just love the song. I think that the lyrics are really beautiful. It's a very well-written song. And Ben's voice, I mean, he kills it. It's just, it's a really sweet song. It's a wonderful feeling to the love and the rough from the floor to the ceiling. Yes, that time of year. Christmas Next we have Merry Christmas Happy Holidays by Issues. This is one where I feel like I had heard it before, but I didn't realize it was Issues until this year by listening to this playlist. I've always liked this song, and this Issues version is so good. Like, in, in like the verses, the screaming in the background, you'll hear Tyler singing like he usually does. But then you'll hear, I think it's Michael, I might be wrong, but I think you hear him like screaming the same lyrics underneath Tyler and it's so funny to me and it just sounds great. I love me some subtle screaming in the background of songs. Oh man, so good. So this one, if you're into like also, you know, issues slash post hardcore stuff, like a little screaming in there, then this is definitely for you. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love came to me. Four pairs of Vans, three PCs, two snapback hats, and a pair of skinny khakis. And the final song I'm going to talk about is, I'm pretty sure, the Christmas pop punk anthem that I just found out about this year. Sad to say that. It hurts. But it is the 12 Days of a Pop Punk Christmas by Jared Alange. And whoa. I heard this for the first time on the ride home like literally this week and like I hadn't come on the playlist yet I don't know and I was shook to say the least because I thought first of all it's a hilarious song it is so well done and there another there's a Christmas song that I listen to it's not on I put it on this but it's um the 12 days of a metal Christmas so it talks about you know like six pentagrams and five stolen rings and I always thought that version was hilarious and then, like, a pop-punk Christmas? That's a little more me. I'm a little more pop-punk than I am metal, you know? So I completely related to every single thing in this song. Like, every single day. I heard it day, it was like seven vinyl records. I was like, me. I mean, like, it's so funny. And it's like, you know, five round pizzas, which is hilarious. And I really also like how they change up the lyrics so it doesn't get really repetitive, because with the metal Christmas, it's repetitive after a while. It kind of gets, you know, a little long. But this one, I feel like they noticed that and so they changed some stuff up. Like, obviously you hear the first day every single verse. So after a while, they started to change it. Originally, it's, and a pair of skinny khakis. But over time, they say, and a merch guy named Fabby, which is really funny. They also say, and an unnecessary breakdown, me. They also say, and my parents' understanding. Mm hmm And then lastly, well, this isn't part of that, but at the end of the song they say, 
Isn't it crazy Fearless let us do this? Meaning Fearless Records. And I think that is so funny to me. Just everything about this. They did it so well done. And they also, for the, um, the fifth day, they say five round pizzas. Yeah, they say five round pizzas. And then they change up that day as well and eventually they say they forgot the pepperoni for one of the lines and then they also say this isn't what i ordered and it just gets progressively to the point where like they don't end up getting their order and it's just a hilarious song there's only a middle section where he's yelling about the pizza and then somebody else is like dude are you gonna finish the song and he's like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah and 12 da -da -da, and that just keeps going and it's just hilarious. If you are at all, you know, pop punk or whatever, listen to this song and you will not relate to anything more in your life. Like I've never related to a song more than I related to this. It was, it's just so funny. And it's probably like my newest favorite Christmas song because I just found it out this year and I don't know how I didn't know about this or hear it before, but it is so hilarious. So I encourage you guys to please check it out. But there we go. Those are all of my favorite pop punk Christmas songs. And like I said, some of those I've listened to for years, some of them are new, but those are just all of my jams, and I love the Pop Punk Christmas playlist on Spotify. I will link it below so you guys can listen to it, because there are some other ones that are really good too that I didn't mention. I think there's about 40 songs on that playlist. It's great. It'll put you in the spirit, but you'll still want to jam and do your little air guitar. It's just the best of the best. Like, two, my two favorite things, Pop Punk and Christmas in one. It's great. Please comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite Pop Punk Christmas songs are. And thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all next time. Bye!